There's a little yellow flag, and if we come up, let's go and see uh, John and Graham, and uh, just listen to what they're uh, saying. And there's another one that's gone out over here. It seems there's a slope there, it seems to come. We're um, looking at a marginal hump uh, in Mark's book, 101 uh, metres. We're just um, westward of uh, Mould, so uh, home territory for John. Laid out a, a good grid of flags, flags at the bulk. Here he is, Master, Dra oh, yeah. master Draftsman. <laughs> so, um, what's the hill today, John? It's a hump called Bryn Allen which is not far from where I live, but five miles out of Mould in the uh, Cluidians. And we're down in a... We're down in the... Um, well, yeah. probably about four or five kilometres away from here. Um, a couple of fields here. There's a hedge going through the middle here. And we've been concentrating mostly in this field over here um, with an array of flags that we've laid out and basically trying to find the, the exact position of the book. In the meantime, we've had the GPS set up um, the most likely position or as near as possible when we first came. We've probably now collected over an hour of data on that. So uh, since we decided where to make the correction, then we whip the flags up and then uh, retire to the summit. So how many, how many rows in each uh, direction of flags? We did uh, one, two, three, four, in the matrix, one, two, three, seven rows by one, two, three, four. Seven, seven rows by eight. So, so it's quite 56 readings. It's quite a square matrix, about um, 40 meters by 50 meters. Area. Quite, quite extensive, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And if I can just look at all the figures, John. If I um, if I come around, this is um, this is what we do. Hopefully the camera will pick it up. And uh, John prints off these sheets uh, beforehand. You can see all the figures. So do you want to lead us through, John, row by so row the, from the top. So the, these represent rows of flags. Go okay, across there, and this is the hill to hill direction, and that's the valley to valley direction. So, what we've done, we've taken a whole series of readings across here, and in this direction, we need to find the highest point, which is the lowest reading. So, we've marked that one with a square. Similarly, here on this row, we've marked that with a square. So, the high points are going like that through there. Um, so that should be the line of the bulk. So along that line, then we look for the highest reading or the lowest point, which is coming out somewhere around here, 1.415, 1.428. And so in, that's about the best position for the bulk. And in relation to where we put the GPS up, where is that? It's there. It's there. So, so we're about to five, seven, eight metres away from where we set up the GPS in yeah. the first place. And it's it's a well uh, tried and tested um, practice, yeah, isn't it, yeah, doing it this yeah, way? Yes, yeah. And then presumably, once you've um, found out uh, in a sort of a square of about four metres where the true bulk is, you'll you'll just um, grid that and yeah. that little spot, won't you? That's it, yes. So I mean, here it's pretty flat, I think, where the bulk is, and we'll just have to accept that the reading is something like four, 1.41 plus or minus five centimetres. Yeah. That's about the best we'll probably get. Yeah. yeah. And if I come um, over, you may be able to pick up some uh, yellow flags. Thanks, uh, John. You can see the uh, the level in the, the distance, and uh, Graham and the uh, and the GPS. I'll, I don't zoom in very often because it is prone to shake. But um, let's give it a little go and see what we can find. Here's Graham. You can see the GPS just beyond him, and you'll be able to see little um, yellow flags and some with um, orange, uh, orangey red flags by, and that's the line of how the um, the bulk goes from uh, hill to hill and there's the uh, the level where we've been taking all the all the readings from so if I um, let just zoom out again and come back over to uh, to John so any other comments for now John well, I think that's been quite good it's nice that the, uh, the lady across the road has been helpful to let us uh, park our car safely off the road so um, up to the summit now and that won't be so difficult that's fairly clear where that is and we'll put the GPS up on there, measure an hour or so of data and uh, process it this evening and see what we get. Lovely. Cheers, John. Thank you. This may give you a um, little insight to um, the kind of rows that we lay with the flags. This matrix was uh, about six, seven 
metres apart as far as uh, pacing and laying of the flags is concerned. And here's the, uh, the territory of the Bulch. I think it's Bryn Allen. It's roughly northward of where we uh, are, not too far away, as John was saying before. And um, we'll be gathering up the, uh, the flag soon. So um, if I just come over, do the ground, doing a little bit of packing. And this is the designated spot for the Bulch where Graham's uh, handheld GPS is and it's not too far away from um, where we placed the GPS originally but if I come down you'll be able to uh, see the GPS just in the background there we are it's a good view very close to um, the road as you can see the, uh, the lorry passing in the background and um, just come over to Graham See if he's got any comments. Let's see what he says. Any comments, Grim? Hi there, William. <laughs> um, yeah, John sort of explained what we do, and um, we haven't done this for a while, have we? It's a long time. I can't remember the last uh, bull that we uh, flagged out like this, actually. It's a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it's good to keep in practice. It certainly is, because uh, if you don't Practice, keep practicing it, then you uh, you lose the skill. But uh, I think we uh, we did all right this morning. We got more or less got it spot on. And um, as far as a bull or a call is concerned, this is relatively easy, isn't it? Oh, it is. Yeah, it's very easy. Um, it's just uh, fairly short grass, as you can see. Um, pasture, uh, no heather to worry about, no humps and bumps to worry about. Um, so it's quite straightforward. There's an apt use of the term hump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hump for hump. <laughs> we, we went out with uh, Mark and uh, Brent a couple of days ago, didn't we? And we were yeah, we did, yeah. Hump and yeah, tump doing, bagging. Doing a bit of humping, yeah. And how did Mark describe it? Was it Humpty Tumpty? <laughs> That's right, you did, yeah. Humpty, I'd forgotten that. <laughs> Rather funny. Right, well, I, I'm going to whiz over and just uh, show the viewers the, uh, the keypad screen. Right, okay. And then, and, um, yeah, we'll start taking off the, uh, the flags while you're doing that then, really. Okay, yeah, cheers, cheers. Graham. Thank you. It's John just in the background with the level. Here's the uh, GPS, I haven't done this on uh, a video of late, going into the uh, keypad. This is the uh, screen with all its buttons and everything else that you can access through uh, through that. A couple of days ago when we were on top of Shadwell Hill, on top of the Carry Ridgeway, that was on a three metre pole to try and get the, uh, uh, the angle as uh, good as possible to pick up um, signals from the satellites but it's on a standard uh, two meter today so I'll uh, just come out here again I may trip over a flag you can see the uh, the farmyard where uh, Graham is parked just in the background on the left the farm and we asked the, uh, the lady there whether we could uh, have access to the field she <laughs> she said uh, yeah go ahead shouldn't be any problem so I'll leave you with another view of a flag with, uh, John in the background looking at the GPS and then I'll go and um, help take up the flags
is on the summit. Oh, there's a little bit of, uh, bit of grass. There's one little bump. So let's go down and uh, see what they have to say. It's probably um, quite sheltered here, yeah, a little hollow, almost like a, a, a sinkhole that you'd um, find on some of the hills down in South Wales. Let's see, see if we're sheltered enough. Hello, folks. Have a walk? Uh, very pleasant, actually. Cracking. Um, Cracking landscape up here, three good little hills. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So, what's been happening since we've um, arrived up here, Graham? Um, been eating me sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Getting cold. Getting cold. Yeah, we've set the GPS up on the, the highest point and uh, we're just collecting data now. Got about 25 minutes worth of data. We need to go for another 35 minutes then we should be okay. Well, was it an hour down to the bull? <coughs> uh, no, it ended up being uh, an hour and a half, I think. Was it? Ah, uh, because yeah. of all the flagging? Yeah. 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 And um, John was saying before, there's a good chance when we get back to John's house, we could process this, couldn't we? Um, well, we're going to have to wait two hours to get the uh, to get the data for uh, the summit, so it's going to be two hours beyond when we pack up. Yeah. So, uh, we, yeah, we might, we might just squeeze it in. Yeah. 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 Like a tea. John said he's very good at cooking late afternoon meals. Oh, that's jolly good of him, isn't it? <laughs> so, it is nice. so we could banquet while we're waiting for the right next day to come through and then, uh, and then we could calculate well, the result. Well, I may banquet and overnight. You <laughs> 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 want to make use of that, use of that new bathroom? Here, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the shower, <laughs> the shower you looked very, very good indeed. <laughs> They had renovations yeah. at um, at Castell Barnard. <laughs> 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 so, um, any any other comments concerning the uh, the hill? Um, well, not really. No, um, it's, just, it's just a matter of sitting here getting cold, <laughs> waiting for that data to collect. We'll say we've only got another thirty five minutes to go, and it's a cracking day, and it's a nice little hill, and. Uh, when you've uh, when you've finished filming, I'm going to go off and do those other two tops. Is it limestone country? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. it's very picturesque, isn't it? Little sort of pathways and tracks mm -hmm. yes. between the small uh, the small summits. But yeah, um, I was saying on the way up, that I want to come up here in the uh, in, in the summertime and uh, see what uh, what flowers and birds and butterflies there are up here because it, it, um, it's quite uh, quite good scenery for yeah. wildlife. Well, cheers, Graham. I'll just okay. come over to uh, to John and see if he's still speaking to me. I'm still speaking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come so, down to this hole. Join you. So, any uh, any further comments, John? Well, just as Patrick, you've been over and looked at these um, other two little humps. Uh, on the map, they are both 403 metres, but this hill is 408, and I've just checked the avenue level across to those two, and they're definitely lower, so we are in the right place, the, the higher of those three hills, on yeah. where we set up the GPS. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, see what the result is. Be interesting, won't yeah. it? It's and going to be close. Is this the, yeah. uh, I think it's the second hill that's been surveyed for hump status, isn't there? Because didn't Chris and Jim join you on one up in, up in the lakes recently? Was it Gal Galbraith Fell? That was me. Oh, was ah, John. sorry. Yeah, I wasn't there. Yeah, ha. Uh, yeah, yeah. Galbraith Fell. Yeah, yeah. Right. and that was for for hump status, wasn't it? Um, yes, it was. Yeah. And that's one to possibly go back and look at with the GPS equipment. It's so very close. We've got to go back. Um, there are two summit positions that are within one centimetre of another, one another. Yeah. Um, and uh, we measured the bulk height from a benchmark. So no absolute height measurements, this was all relative to other things. Um, and it came out at 100.0. <laughs> wow. So, um, very, very close. Yeah. So, um, but the second one, and the first one with the digi camcorder that's, that's been filmed. So it'll be very interesting to see if, um, well, what happens to it, whether it's confirmed or um, reclassified. Well, I hope it stays. It's, uh, it's a nice little hill. It, it I've is. I've done it before, so it's on one of my lists. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, cheers both. And I'll pan around into the sun and um, leave the viewers with a, a view of the GPS.
Here's the survey result of Bryn Allen. And uh, on Ordnance Survey Maps, the bulk is between 305 metres and 310 metres. The Ordnance Survey data for the summit has a spot height of 408 metres. Now, we surveyed um, the bulk, and this is uh, rounded to the nearest point one of a metre, the following figures. And the bulk height came out at 307.4 metres. The summit height for the survey came out at 408.3 metres. So that gives Bryn Allen a drop of 100.8 metres. So Bryn Allen retains its hump status.